like how Sony plans to release major single player games every year with Ghost of Yotai and Death Stranding 2 coming in 2025. Reese Wood over Tech Raider. Sony has pledged to continue a single player game output on PS5 and seemingly future PlayStation hardware. That was reported by IGN, Sony Finance, and IR head uh, Sadakio uh, Ayakua. Is that what I'm going with there, Michael? Expressing the desire to keep up single player game release on PlayStation consoles during an investor call. According to Hayawakakua, <laughs> Sony's plans to continue releasing major single player game titles every year from next fiscal year onwards. Quote, to back this up, Hukawa uh, highlighted Sucker Punch's Ghost of Yotai and Kojima Productions' Death Stranding 2 on the beach, both of which are slated to launch in 2025 exclusively for PlayStation 5. Take note, Xbox. Hmm. We also can't neglect to mention Astrobot, which launched this year to near universal acclaim. Dude, fantastic game. Honestly, it really has been a trip to go back into the world of Astrobot. Such a blast and a highlight for PlayStation for 2024. As of what we can expect in 2026 and beyond, well, that's a little up in the air. We know that Insomniac Games is hard to work on Wolverine title. And beyond that, PlayStation Studios has no shortage of development houses, including Gorilla, Naughty Dog, Blue Point Games, Ben Studio, Housemark, and Bungie, to Ooh. name a few. Yeah, that's kind of where it's at. Michael, at this point, though, to say we had a light year on a PlayStation says it all. They better be ready to start bringing the heat coming in 2025. And I think Ghost of Yote is going to set things on fire. Where you at? Yeah, I think this is a great idea from Sony. I will say, though, we've talked about it, right? They've also said they want to focus in on these games of service, right? These live service games. And I think that is what we're going to remember, right? I, we're going to get yeah. Ghost of Yote. It's probably going to be a fantastic game. Death Stranding 2, not for me, but I know it's a game that I assume a ton of people are going to love. But if Marathon comes out and absolutely flops, we're going to talk about that, right? We're going to say, why mm -hmm. do you keep pushing these games of service models? Why don't you do more single player games, <laughs> right? Stop giving us this. So I like what Sony's thinking, but until they finally realize that games as a service is a thing you have to nail, if you go from Concord failing to Marathon failing, we're going to say, Sony, what the heck are you doing? You have to stop this. So I like that they finally realized we need more single player games. I cannot wait for this, but we need more than two, Drew, right? I need three. I need four. I need big titles, right? I don't know if we've seen much on Death Stranding 2 besides Kojima saying, yeah, I've got a date in mind, right? Which is very concerning with how busy 2025 <laughs> is. I don't actually know if we're going to yeah. get that in 2025. But then look at the multiplayer titles, right? We've got Marathon. There's a, maybe a Horizon multiplayer coming on. If those two flop, Drew, we're going to remember that way more than their good single player games. Unfortunately, right? I think that's what the major thing is. Everybody kind of ended up focusing on more of the negative side instead of the highlights. You take a look at PlayStation's repertoire for this year. It is really Astrobot, right? Then there mm. is, don't forget, there is Stellar Blade. There is Rise of the Ronin that are in there as well. Rise of the Ronin and Stellar Blade, though, third-party titles, yeah. right? When you talk first-party titles, that's where, you're, okay, where are the heavy hitters coming from PlayStation? So we're getting two next year. Again, Kojima, third-party studio. So that's not even a first-party. It's, it's a first party it's a PlayStation get because they mm -hmm. struck a deal with Kojima to make sure that they get this exclusively, <laughs> right? We just recently got Death Stranding on Xbox. So it will be a timed event, but you're not going to be able to play it right away on Xbox. And that's one of those things. PlayStation continues to dominate that single player genre, though, right? Where we see Xbox still struggling to catch up. They're, like, they're not even in the realm right now. And it's kind of disappointing at the end of the day. But when you take a look at live service games, PlayStation is still trying to figure that mantra out. How do they get in there, right? They have Bungie and Destiny 2 still continuing on the train. But after that, there's really nothing. Marathon has a lot to prove, I think, moving forward. What is Gorilla really doing? Because the bigger question with Horizon, we've heard so many rumors of this Horizon live service, open world, co-op experience, whatever you're going to get into. Mm -hmm. This Monster Hunter-esque kind of feel. So if that's the case... When do we see that, right? And mm. take note, there's also been rumors of a whole different art style, which makes me really, really nervous, dude. Really, really nervous to see what that looks like if you're messing with Aloy, because they just messed with Aloy when they put her into the world of Lego. Natalia, it's not the same. It's definitely a Lego game. You can check out our full review just dropped today. And then you get into Wolverine. So Wolverine, we're lining up for what? 2026. Has to be, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's where. So next year, we get two games. 2026 we get another two 
Is that what's going to go on? We're just going to go two, two, and two? Is that enough for the PlayStation fan base, Michael? What do you think? Yeah? No? What? No. We need three. We need three. One. Give me one, three or four. One every quarter feels good. Yeah. No, I definitely agree with that. I think we need kind of something to pick up the pace a little bit more. And again, these games are only getting more and more difficult, more and more challenging to produce. Mm -hmm. So one every quarter would be a PlayStation fan's dream, I think, at this point. Yeah. But reality check, it sounds like we're getting two every year.